Hey guys, welcome to Jash Outline. This video is about what's new in macOS Catalina. So, let's get started. As you visited the desktop, you can see some change in wallpapers and few apps in dock. You can see the podcast, Apple TV and Apple Music app which has replaced iTunes. When you get into Apple Music app, first thing you can see radio is added in the music app. There is a specific tab for radio. You can listen to several radio channels which are international. You have lots of subdivisions in radio depends upon regional languages, instruments played in the song, singers, locations, etc. And you can listen music from Apple Music by checking several tabs like artists, albums, zones of 90s etc etc now let's get into podcast podcast is a new app in mac catalina and it's great this podcast app is available in iphone ipad and mac now the sync between these devices are instant you can listen on any device and you can continue that podcast from there in another device there are tabs like listen now browse top charts and recently added in listen now tab you can see all the channels you subscribe and a few other more in browse tab you can find whatever channel you want by searching top charts tab shows you the top podcast channels right now so that you can listen to them if you are interested in those channels recently added tab shows the channels you are subscribed to let's get into apple tv this apple tv app has several movies in it you have to purchase or rent the movie you want to see there is a large collection of movies in this we have one more thing in apple tv which is called apple tv plus which will provide different series like netflix and amazon prime services this will launch on november 1st and there are a lot of new series coming in apple tv plus this apple tv plus costs you 5 dollars in us and and 100 rupees in india per month let's get into app store when you get into app store and go into discovery tab you can find some apps which are ipad apps and they are migrated to mac os so these apps works on both mac and ipad there are few apps available and developers are working on other apps so that they can make almost all ipad apps available to mac you can see new section in app store called arcade yes arcade games are available available in mac system too you can play these games using controllers of ps4 and xbox also there are several games in arcade they are awesome just try it out in order to play these games you need to subscribe to apple arcade but first month of apple arcade is free so try it out so let's get into the sidecar feature sidecar feature is available in settings beside monitor this feature is used for screen sharing from macbooks to ipads this is a cool feature and lots of apple members love it but the people who has macbooks which are below 2016 models are out of luck i have 2015 macbook model and which doesn't support sidecar sidecar only works with mac laptops and desktops that include a sixth generation intel sky lake processor or later let's get into screen time one more functionality or feature called screen time has been added in mac os catalina this screen time app tells you how much time you spent on the mac or macbooks it will also tells you what all the applications which, which taking a lot of time on your mac and how much time it's taking there is a tab called downtime which can schedule the time where you cannot use the laptop this feature is useful for work alcoholics in the screen time app you block the software which you don't want to use or schedule the blockage of those softwares you can add the softwares in app limit sections so that you can use those applications certain amount of time you can decide the time limit time period also Let's get into the pictures app. Pictures app redesigned with live thumbnails. We can see sections of days, months and years. You can edit the pictures right there in photos app with much more functionalities. This is awesome but you can't edit videos like you can do on iPhone.
let's get it into notes and reminders app notes app has a new grid layout where you can see the preview of each notes and you can open which you want to edit you can even drag and drop the pics into notes app and use it and edit there itself that's really useful the new reminder app has got a new look you can add new reminders in it and pull all reminders in one folder you can schedule reminder by adding the time or the place you can make some reminders as a part of another reminders bus by just dragging those onto others let's get into voice controller app there is a voice control feature which you can enable by going into settings and accessibility you can open web pages scroll down up and down and you can do several activities like opening notes app etc using your voice there are several pre-installed commands in it and you can use them or you can create your own commands in it the last thing which are wallpapers there are few new wallpapers which are added and they are awesome there are dynamic wallpaper section if you select one of the wallpapers in those section you can see the lighting in the wallpaper changes according to the time in, in your iMac or MacBooks. This is a cool future. So that's it guys for this video. If you like the video, do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because much more content coming up. So see you guys in the next video. Until then chill out and keep rocking.